Hello, I'm Marin, and I'm going to be taking you through this tutorial introduction to machine learning. So we're going to be exploring machine learning primarily using scikit-learn and PyTorch for applications in high energy physics and beyond. I'd first like to thank a number of people, starting with Luke Paulson, who originally developed a version of this tutorial and it's since been extended. And Anna Scaife, who has developed a tutorial machine learning on GPU, which leads directly on from this one. And a number of people at HSF who have helped develop this, Sam, Killian, Sudhir and others. And last but not least to any tutors or mentors who are helping you throughout your training. Now, I should mention with these videos that don't worry if they don't align exactly with what you see in the web page, because the lesson is constantly, constantly being updated following feedback and development. There are a couple of prerequisites to be able to follow this tutorial fully. You need a Kaggle account. We're going to go through how to create that in the setup page and some basic Python knowledge. For example, through this software carpentry programming with Python lesson. As an introduction, machine learning is everywhere. So the aim of this lesson is to explore what it means to build a machine learning model and then expand on concepts that are essential to anyone working in big data science. So we're going to focus on these four skills. One, understanding machine learning. Two, preparing data for machine learning. Three, training some machine learning models. And then four, comparing. This is part of a wider curriculum of training that you can look at here. Videos are provided at the top of each page to guide you through the content. At the start, the videos essentially take you through the text and summarize. So choose whichever way you learn best, video or reading. And then for the remaining sections, the videos take you through the code in live. Here's the schedule we're going to follow. The times on the left are indicative. You might take a bit longer, you might take a bit shorter, but they're just to give you an idea. The whole thing should take you about three and a half hours with breaks included. Okay, so now let's go to the setup page to show you how it's done. We're going to be using Kaggle. Now, Kaggle offers a no setup, customizable Jupyter Notebook environment. And it's where the data for this tutorial can be accessed. So let's start by creating an account. So this is the screen you're met with. So follow through with this, pause this video and follow through with this until you have finished setting up your account. Once you've done that, you can replay the video and go back here. Make sure you're signed in. And then once you're signed in, you'll be given full access to the Kaggle resources to access the notebook that we're going to be using and the data click here. And then in the top right corner, click copy and edit to bring a version onto your own account such that you can edit and then save it yourself to come back later. And that's it. You're ready to go. See you in the next video where we go through the introduction.